Hello, just wanted to do a quick update. Um, last couple weeks have been pretty challenging with the cold weather and the snow. Um, we had a chimney fire a couple weeks ago and that was during a snowstorm and during 19 degree temperatures. So uh, it wasn't serious. I got it put out right away and I had someone come out and check it out. There was no damage, had it inspected. Um, we've been getting snowstorms off and on. Our water system was frozen, and just last weekend, uh, actually Sunday, I got it back up and running, and today's Tuesday. So I was having problems with the pressure switch after all the freezing and everything. I had to just manually go in and mess with the mechanisms of the pressure switch, and uh, like the little gate, I was pushing that manually that basically tells the pump when to shut on, or shut off and when to turn on. So after I messed with those, the um, water system worked and it shut off when it reached 40 uh, PSI, which it's supposed to. So everything's working there. Um, woke up Monday to three or four inches of snow and it's really a test of patience. I mean, snow is beautiful and everything and winter is part of the seasons, but man, I want to get to work. So today a little bit of the snow melted, so I did a little work on the greenhouse. All right, it's a nice day today. Actually got some blue sky. Beautiful. So, time to get working on the greenhouse again. Um, hopefully some of this snow will melt. It's still all over the place. Um, what I'm gonna do today is take, and these four by four posts are too high. So the arc of the uh, hoops is just really pulling them in. I had to put a brace in there, a 12 foot four by four toenailed in just to keep the sides from uh, sagging too far in and being pulled too far in. So I'm gonna take about eight inches off of uh, these four by fours and then move these brackets down and uh, see if we can take some pressure off there. Cause like I say, the curve of this is just really stressing those posts. Okay, so looks like uh, taking 10 inches off works pretty well. And then if I take some of these scrap pieces that I have and fit those in there, cut it off, then I can uh, attach a bracket to this here. And that's about just right. It's not stressing it. Um, it's still gonna have pressure on there, but once I put those T-posts in, that should hold these posts up. So the Four by four posts are cut and the little spacers have been put in. And uh, it did seem to take some of the stress off of it. I still need to uh, support it with the T-posts like I said, but I can definitely tell when I started uh, pushing on it that I'll have a lot more room to get those posts upright and straight. And it'll still have a lot of tension on the hoop house to keep it tight. Plus I'm gonna build up the frame and have a top support beam and all that stuff so it should be pretty sturdy by the time we're done took that little video today while I worked on that and uh, that's about all I could do I need to get some T posts to put in the ground to kind of anchor the thing and to keep the post straight and vertical and then we're gonna build the frame we ordered our plastic film for the greenhouse so excited to see that come in the mail soon um, that's about all we have going on. I just wanted to throw out a quick video and a little update. Haven't been on here for a while. Just been a lot of stuff going on and uh, I'm hoping the weather turns but looks like Thursday there's a chance of snow and then all next week there's a chance of snow. So hey, I really am ready for winter to be over. But like I said, it's just a test of patience. 
I gotta tell myself just to lay low, do what I can, do stuff in house or in the house. And okay, well I'm getting cold sitting down here by the river, so I'm gonna wrap this up. And uh, this is Jay at Almost Homestead, and I will see you next time.